If you wanna know how to use your website to get leads for your business, we're starting right now. If you wanna transform your website into a customer or lead generation machine, I'll show you all my best tips, tactics, and secrets to get there fast. Let's dive in. Hey guys, I'm Wes McDowell. I'm the web strategist for The Deep End. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, you're definitely gonna to wanna to be, so just click the subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it so you never miss another video you need to succeed online. Okay, today we're gonna to be talking about something really important and really exciting, and that's the idea of getting leads using your website. So when we talk about getting leads, I'm really talking about two different ways. Uh, we're gonna cover both of them today. Uh, the first are what I would call direct leads. So these are people who come to the site, they're ready to go, they wanna to talk to you, uh, they want to schedule an appointment or fill out a form or just give you a call. So we're gonna start with talking about those people, uh, but a little later in the video, we're actually gonna talk about indirect leads as well. So these are people you wanna just kinda get on email list. Uh, these people aren't necessarily ready to act yet, but you wanna get them on your list so that you can continue to nurture them over time so that when they are ready, uh, you are top of mind for them. So here we go, let's start talking about those direct leads. So basically, again, these are people who are ready to go right now. So the first thing you need to do is decide on the action that you want people to take on your site. Uh, what's that big call to action going to be? Do you want people to pick up the phone and call you? Do you want them to fill out a form giving you their info so you can give them a call back when it's convenient for you? Or what I like to do to make it a little more automated is allow people to schedule an appointment or a consultation with you right on your website, eliminating all that back and forth of what time works for you, what time works for them. It's all automated because that can really be a huge pain. So what I like to use is a program called Calendly. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just happen to use them on my site and I recommend it for a lot of my clients as well. It's just a really easy way to set your own schedule and then allow your customers or clients to pick pre-specified times that you've already chosen. It's really easy to embed on your site and it even syncs with your online calendar like a Gmail or an Outlook. Um, so what it does is it actually reads your calendar to see when you're available and when you're busy so that it doesn't book you uh, when you're already in a meeting or something or on vacation even. And it also puts new meetings that Calendly schedules on your calendar so you get alerts and so there's no need to manually add these appointments to your calendar. And what I really like about Calendly is it lets you ask some questions, um, including just really utilitarian questions like contact info because you need to know how to get in touch with them, uh, but also some pre-qualification questions. In other words, it lets you ask questions to really let you gauge if this is a qualified prospect for you or not. Do they have the budget? Are they uh, the right kind of client for you? And it also allows you to ask some kind of preparatory questions. So, you know, if, if there was anything you needed to know before that call to really get you prepared for that call, you're, you can ask questions about that as well. And I am gonna have an upcoming video about how to actually get Calendly set up and how to embed it on your site. So that's coming. Uh, I think next week. So be sure to subscribe uh, to make sure you get that. And if it's already out, you're just gonna wanna click right up here to get that video. So whatever you decide that, that main call to action is gonna be, whether it is to uh, schedule that appointment on your site or just to fill out a form or even to call you, this is going to be your main call to action throughout the site. So make it very prominent and style it as a button, not just as a text link. You wanna really make it stand out. And one of the ways to do that is to choose a color for that button that stands out against everything else on your site. You're only gonna to wanna to use that color for that button. Now, since this is gonna be the main call to action throughout the site, I definitely recommend you placing it in a few key areas, uh, basically on every page in the main navigation on top. So ideally you'd have your other navigation elements just as text links, and then your CTA is going to be styled as that button that we talked about. I'd also recommend putting it toward the bottom of all your important pages in a single column with a headline on top and the button right underneath it centered. I also recommend putting it at the end of every blog post as well as on your about page. Okay, so that covers the direct leads on the site, but what about the more long-term prospects who are not exactly ready to convert just yet? 
because 80 to 90% of people coming to your site today are only in research mode. And only about 18% of those people are gonna be willing to talk to you or a salesperson before they're actually ready. So for those people, you definitely wanna make sure you stay top of mind for them throughout their entire decision-making process so that you end up making the short list when it's time for them to actually make that decision. And the way you do this is you need to offer them something valuable in exchange for their email address. Now, newsletters or eBooks don't cut it anymore. Um, you know, I hate to say it, but nobody cares about your newsletter. Uh, when's the last time you signed up for one of those? You know, they don't seem very valuable and neither do eBooks anymore. There used to be a lot of value associated with an eBook. The problem is people have been kind of abusing that over the, the past few years and people have caught on to it. People kind of expect now that it's gonna be a three page PDF that just doesn't go into enough detail to make it worth it for them. So we're gonna have to up the ante a little bit and come up with something a little more irresistible if you wanna get those email addresses. And of course, I've got some good ideas for you here. So uh, the first one is pretty easy to pull off and that is just the idea of a cheat sheet or a quick start guide. Now this works great as what we call a content upgrade. So let's say you have a blog post about a certain topic. This cheat sheet or quick start guide is an accompanying download that basically allows people to uh, just download it without having to take notes so that they can act on all those tips. And now you can have just one of these site-wide or you can have different ones that accompany different blog posts. It's up to you. Next up, we have a workbook, which is definitely an upgrade from an ebook because it offers really clear steps and it promises some kind of an outcome once the actions are taken within the book. Because it offers clear steps and it promises some kind of an outcome once the book is filled out and all the steps have been taken. Now this can be a downloadable printout or you can get a little more interactive with it using a Google form and where they can fill it out online. And there's an added benefit to doing it this way actually, because you can set it to where those answers are shared with you, uh, which may give you some really valuable insights into exactly who your customers are and what kind of problems they're facing. Okay, my next suggestion is a little harder to pull off and that's a video or an audio training. Now this can be a pre-recorded video or a live webinar. Now this is a great way to get a little more personal and connect on a deeper level with your prospects that you couldn't really do with any kind of written material. Now, if the idea of video scares you, audio can actually be pretty effective as well. There's a business coach named Marie Forleo who's pretty well known and her main lead magnet is actually an audio training. People just download it and they can listen to her while they're driving to work, walking a dog or at the gym. Now, if we're talking about video or audio, you can take this a step further and do a video series. Now, what I really like about a video series is it establishes a bit more of a relationship over time and it also promises an outcome once you get to the end of it. And if you want to see an example of this in action, this is exactly what I use for my business. I have a five day mini course, how to guarantee website ROI, and you can click right up here to get that. Uh, you can check it out. It's a pretty good example of what I'm talking about. All right, next we have quizzes. People definitely love quizzes because they're interactive and it plays on people's curiosity. You know, they want to see the results at the end. A few great ideas would be to determine if a prospect is right for your product or service or which product or service would be best for your client based on their uh, particular situation. All right, next we have a multi-day challenge and this is basically challenging your audience to get a desired outcome or learn a specific skill within a set amount of days. You send them one email a day with a different short assignment and people love this because it's interactive and it definitely promises a result at the end of it. I recently consulted on one of these for a client who is in the meditation niche. So we did a meditation mastery challenge, which basically gets people into the funnel. It gives them an assignment every day. And then at the end of it, they have learned the basics of meditation. And now they're much more primed and ready to actually go in and take a class. So the main thing to think about with any of these lead magnets is you want people to be saying at the end of it, wow, that free content was so good. I can't wait to see what the paid stuff looks like. Okay, now a few things to note for all of these lead magnet ideas. You wanna be sure that, it's, that you email deliver it as opposed to them inputting their email 
just taken to a landing page where they download it. Um, and you wanna make sure they know this, that it's gonna be sent to their email. That's really gonna cut down on um, the fake email addresses people would give you. And make this opt-in really prominent around your site. Think of it as a second call to action right behind your more direct call to action. You wanna make sure it has its own landing page that you can link to from social media or Facebook ads if you, if you wanna go that direction with it, as well as giving it its own little mini section on all of your important pages. And I'd even go a step further and make sure you have an exit intent pop up on all your important pages, just as kind of a Hail Mary for anyone who was gonna leave your site, you're giving them one last opportunity to sign up. So in the end, you should have a call to action for those people that are ready to do business today, and one for the people who need to be nurtured a little more long-term. All right, in our next video, we're gonna talk about what to do with these leads once you get them, with a simple email marketing campaign that's gonna help you elevate your perceived status and stay top of mind for your future customers. But now, I wanna hear from you, and I wanna know in the comments below which of these lead magnet ideas are you thinking about using for your own business? Leave that or any comments or questions in the comments below and I'll get to all of them. I can't wait to read them. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you're gonna to wanna to do that by clicking the circle logo icon right over here. And if you haven't yet accessed my free mini course, how to guarantee website ROI, you're just gonna click the box right over in this direction to get free access to that. All right guys, Wes McDowell here for The Deep End and I'll see you in our next video.